So you've all been paying attention to the gas prices going up. Is it hitting your pocketbook now? What about the prices in the grocery stores? What about the shortages that are still out there on the shelves? I think people are starting to stock up right now because they're all afraid that, you know what's going to happen? Well, this is what's going to happen. They're, they're afraid that, well, they're not going to have stuff in the stores anymore, folks. And that's a legitimate fear for a lot of people that's out here. Let's face it. The higher the prices go on fuel, on gas, and everything else, it's less stuff that you're going to be able to buy in the stores. Because let's just think about this for a minute. You taking my car here. I filled it up the other day. Now I only put, uh, what, eight gallons in? It was like 34 bucks. So it's hurting a lot of people. A lot of people have to commute to get to work, right? I mean, 99% of people have to drive to get to work. There's a very few that don't. And that is affecting everything that's going on in this world. It's affecting your pocketbook. It's affecting what you can buy at the stores. Even if they stock the stores completely, you can't afford to buy the stuff. Meat prices are going through the roof. Egg prices are going through the roof. Chicken's going up. Dairy's going up. Canned goods are starting to go up. Walmart is still at like 50 cents a can on some things and everything else. But how long can they afford to do that with the price of diesel fuel over $5 a gallon? Not long, folks. Hey, when that price goes up, that's they're just going to increase. We're going to pay for it. We're going to pay those prices. So if you're not prepping now and you're not putting up food and you're try trying to be ahead of the game and topping off all your different preps, you're screwed. The government has basically, when they shut off the gas and oil from Russia without having a contingency plan in place of how they're going to replace that they just put us into one hell of a pickle folks now this pickle is sour if you get what i'm saying all right we have this war that's raging on we have no idea what putin is capable of doing we don't know what his plan could be i don't, I don't even think the people that sit at that table with him have a freaking clue on what is going on or what he's thinking or what he's going to do. He's going to do whatever he wants to do. Do you think that he's going to push that button? I sure hell hope not. But we don't know. This is the thing, folks. This is what I'm trying to get across in this video. We don't know what is going to take place a day from now, a week from now, a month from now. All we know is Prices are going up. The stock market keeps going down and everything else. Yes, today uh, on Wednesday, the, it rallied a little bit. But look at the price of oil per barrel. It's running between $125 and $130 a barrel. If you're smart, you're putting your money in gold because that's skyrocketing. That's well over $2,000 now. It's gone way up in the last few weeks. And it's going to keep going up because people are going to be going to these different commodities to put their money into to try to save their rear ends when everything else hits the fan and goes the opposite direction, if you get what I'm saying. Now, I'm no economist or anything else. I'm just a guy with some common sense here. Look what's happening. We have a good day, then we have a few bad days, and we have a good day, we have a few bad days in the stock market, but we're constantly going down. <laughs> you know, you have, it, it, it's, it's a ripple effect. And when it really starts hitting us American people, and what you can afford to buy when you have to go to the store and say you've got, just to say you've got a family of four, you got a mom, dad, and two kids. You know, your grocery bill just went up probably by 100, 200 bucks a week. On top of, you're paying top dollar for gas. Gas hasn't been this high ever. We're hitting record territory here across the board. This is just getting scary, folks. And you have to get out there and you have to do what you can do. You have to start making your own contingency plans 
on how you're going to tackle this bad situation that we have been put in. There's no other way around it. We have to try to come up with plans together, maybe as a community. Everybody put your, your two cents worth in. Comment below. What are you doing out there to try and avoid some of these high prices that will be coming even more higher down the road? Are you stockpiling now? Are you buying more of certain products? If so, what and why? What is What was taking place here? We can't control what is going on. The government does. We are just peasants in this little thing called the world. I have a saying for it, but I won't say it on here because it may offend some people. This is the God's honest truth on what is taking place. We have to try and figure this out for ourselves, in a sense, as much as we possibly can. And this is where your prepping will come in handy. Having extra will come in handy. What happens if you get sick? What happens if uh, one of the breadwinners of the family gets sick, a car accident, or something else? You are totally screwed if you don't have a backup plan. Not so much having extra money in your savings account or emergency fund or anything else, but just having stuff that could get you through. Extra food, extra medical stuff, extra supplies of any kind in the house toilet paper, paper towels, wipes, uh, paper products, whatever else it could be. You know, anything and everything is what you got to be looking for, folks. You have to really think and you have to look at it as you're in this by yourself. If you're part of this community, a lot of people will comment and they will put comments in here maybe to help people out what they should be looking to prep. These type of things, folks. The point is, you have to do what you have to do. If this means you have to cancel a trip, well, you have to cancel a trip. These are extreme times that we are living in right now. We have to prioritize what we have to do, how we can survive this. For one, gas prices for two diesel prices for three shortages of all types because the loads and stuff aren't going to be getting through and if you watch my video tomorrow I'll explain all that because I got inside information so I'm survival preparedness for beginners you all remember one thing here folks the balls in your court I've been preaching on this channel for a long time that your people need to be prepared. I've shown you what you need to prepare. I've done tons of videos and everything else so you know exactly what you have to get from food products, emergency products, emergency backup supplies, your gear, whatever it may be because we don't know what the future holds. We have to plan for X, Y, and Z. And let's hope Z doesn't get here. So until next time, folks, you all stay safe. You keep prepping. Keep your heads up. Keep focused. And somehow or another, we're going to get through this, folks. Hopefully sooner than later. But I have a bad feeling in my gut it's going to be a lot later than sooner. Until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.